to another episode of Pro Some Rides. Today, we're going to take off the factory front turn signals and install integrated turn signals. As always, take off the rear cowl and remove your seat. That way we get access to the battery. When you're doing this, you might not need to disconnect your battery. Uh, I'm not. I think we'll get it just fine. I'm going to check out how this actually looks though before we go ahead with installation. The yellow should be the turn signal. Let's take a look at that first. Okay. The red wire on this particular one is great. So let's see if it is red. You know, in this case it's white. We're going to use the red wire for the daytime running lights. I know some people don't like them. I think they look good. Uh, and then we'll hook up the yellow wire for the turn signals. First things first, we're going to disconnect and remove the front turn signal. Simple as just removing this bolt uh, using a five millimeter Allen head. Bolts out. These will just be able to slip off. All right, now that we have the signal disconnected, we're just gonna take off this back plate. It's really hard to see. It'll just pop right out. Just using a little flathead screwdriver that reveals our connector. From there, you want to disconnect it. The only way to disconnect it is to give rise to the little tab right here because of little knob right there. Now these ones, the, now the turn signals use a seven pin connector and only three of those wires are populated. Uh, we already checked out earlier the daytime running light and the turn signal wire. So we'll make sure uh, we figure out which wires go where and we'll get them plugged up. One thing to know on the left hand side, the pinouts are set up differently. Uh, they're down the center pins versus the right hand side are they're staggered. Boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna need to make sure we get those pinouts correct. So I'm not a fan of cutting and splicing OEM equipment, because if one day I wanna return it back to stock, I can. Otherwise, it's, it just leaves a clean installation when you get the correct part. I had to figure out which connectors fit inside here. In this case, it's an Amphenol part number 2822343-1. Dash one. The dash one, I think, is, is the green part. So prior two numbers are the ones you're really interested in. Uh, like I said, the left-hand side is a little bit different. In this case, it's a black connector, but it doesn't matter. They're the same type of connector. Another thing you're going to want to get is these connector plugs. You're only using three wires out of the seven, so you need to make sure you plug in the remaining holes. So that way, water doesn't get inside these type of connectors. Part number here is 316390-7 is the color code, once again, uh, yellow. Those are the only ones available. It doesn't really matter what the color is to plug them, as long as you get them plugged up. Last but not least, you'll need the socket contact and the part number for these ones, 917-308-1. And if you didn't have a crimper tool, April's crimpers, specific crimpers are very, very expensive. So what I did instead was just looked up the size of the crimp, found these, I got through Newark. They ended up being uh, the only supplier that had everything in stock. Uh, that way I didn't have to make separate purchases. These can be found, I think, on SparkFun or a couple other places. Uh, they are, the, the brand is Engineer, uh, and it's a PA09. What you're looking for, for ours, is the 1.4 millimeter size. Pretty straightforward. Don't put a lot of pressure here because you don't want to end up nicking the wires inside. This cuts really easy. You don't have to put a lot of pressure at all. Right over there, just bend it, break it, and then you can pull it right off. A little bit of room for the contacts. So our wires are 24 gauge, for these particular ones anyways. It's mostly, most likely how it will come. Just gotta bend them back and forth. They come right off. 
The part with the tab is where we're going to lay in our wire and this contact part will slip over the pins and we'll be in business. I actually found that putting it through the 1.6 help, help flatten the edges. So that way it gets them nice and straight for us without pushing down. And we can stick it in the 1.4. Try to get a little bit of insulation on the back contact. So that way it holds it down really well. Nice and secure. The crimps are very nice. This is doing a very good job. I highly recommend. Here are the turn signals. The OEM manual doesn't really give a lot of good detail, but it says light blue is right front, green is turn signal, and light blue slash white is the position light, while the left orange is left front, green is the turn signal, and orange white is the position light. Okay, got the pinout figured out. this particular setup can deduce that the green wire is the neutral and since we're working on the right hand side uh, the daytime running light this red wire it's going to the blue slash white wire which is called position light that makes sense the yellow wire is the turn signal wire the amber wire that is going to the light blue wire over here now we just need to get it installed in the connector and then work on the other side and now knowing what these terms mean the left hand side will go much easier so this doesn't exactly tell me what the pin in this case i believe it's going to be letters are uh, just look at your tab so you'll then insert it looking at where their current position is the center bottom is our neutral wire the right hand top one is our red wire and the left hand top one is the yellow wire so we'll get them inserted and away we go Ampanol does make an insertion tool for these but i think we'll be okay usually you need the insertion tool for the extraction part yep and that snapped right in place and i can feel it because it's not uh, pulling out i need a little a little flathead again once you get the other ones in place, just to get pushed all the way in. You should be able to feel it snap in. Okay, make sure you keep that uh, hermetic seal plug in there. Uh, now that all those are in place, let's do a quick checkout. Snap it in. Let's see our daytime running lights are working. Right hand turn signal flasher. One thing that is nice is the color scheming is, is similar for the left hand side. So we've got green on the center bottom. So that one's easy, that one lines up. Uh, then we have the orange and white. The orange and white is our daytime running light and the solid orange will be our turn signal wire. Let's grab some alcohol and I'm gonna clean up down here. see but get your zip tie pull it through there and get it zipped up I think we'll go ahead and take the headlight off uh, which involves taking the meter visor off three millimeter allen head and a t40 torx socket to get both these off i've had this tried to take this off before with the meter visor still on and i found that i didn't have enough clearance to get it above the pegs down there so i'm going to take that off real quick so that way i can zip tie the wiring up and make sure I get that zip tie for the turn signal on nice and good. Now with the headlights off, I can get real good access to the zip tie. Make sure it's nice and tight. Looks like I've got the first two LEDs just beyond this line. Line them up the exact same way. Right, so now I've got a few 
that ties something to keep everything together. Before you forget, install your uh, socket plugs. So you've removed your seat for this and rear cowl. Go ahead and reinstall it. And here it is, all finished up. Very easy to see during the daylight. Very easy. Flashing at the same rate. It does cause it to turn a little fast. Uh, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, to tell you the truth. Uh, but if you want to get a relay to slow it down or a resistor or something to slow it down, it's not a bad idea. Uh, but overall, it's done. This, uh, Another mod to help just clean up the appearance. Really like how it's rid of the big bulking turn signal. It's up there. Like how it gets rid of these. And becomes that. Really happy with putting it down low instead of up high. I think it just looks better. See it from multiple angles. But overall, uh, it's complete. Thanks for checking it out.